What's up, SJC family? I am here with Alex Shellnut from A Day Hello. to Remember, chatting about his new kick and a watch him perform tonight and crush this kit, man. Good yeah, to see you, dude. You too. Thank you so much for your support of SJC all these years, man. We were just chatting. It's been over a decade. Yeah, 2011. When we did the Donkey Kong yeah, kit. So Who remembers the Donkey Kong kit? So much. Still probably, this is actually my favorite now. That's my second favorite, probably. I, I think same. I, yeah. I, the I acorn think it, one's cool. That's the honorable mention for me. Yeah. It just, the sound was OK, but it was the best looking. <laughs> it was definitely really tight. I was driving my car, and Alex Shellnut called me. What's up, bro? Hey, man, my last name. I want a drum kit like a nut. Yeah, let's like do an it, acorn. bro. <laughs> but this kit, man, let's talk about it, dude. Mahogany shells, yeah. beautiful finish. Give us a kit, yeah. you know, rig rundown, dude. How are you liking it? And what's, uh, what's some of your favorite uh, specs on this new kit? Yeah. Well, um, I'm actually stoked. I've been wanting to do a 14 by uh, 24 for a long time. It's big, a lot of tone. It just sounds beefy. Then I got the 8 by 13 rack, the 16 by 16 floor, and the 18 by 16 floor. I think I got that right. Yep. Not good at numbers. That's why I you got drums. it, bro. <laughs> but yeah, we got the re rings in them, the 45 degree angles. It just makes them really like i don't know how to explain it but you have to feel them what you can't do via camera but well they, they can feel great. it if they come yeah, to yeah. a show very beefy yeah that probably just was really loud on here <laughs> and then i got the firecracker snare yeah a little side snare yeah, side snare thing's fun um got the subwoofer seat <laughs> i have all my shells in it so i feel all that yeah, um, then the snare is an eight by four or six and a half by 14 brass hammered with, it's, the, center uh, with the center lip yeah and it's smacks super smacks. loud super good super yeah. warm that's a 1.2 millimeter shell so you got yeah. the open body but with your die cast soups on there you know you got your power stroke head on there oh, that yeah. thing sounds oh yeah insane yeah i got all remos on here then obviously the k's the a's and the oriental right here best china symbol Heck but yeah, yeah it's pretty much pretty much it it's a uh, my favorite kit to date. Sounds, feels amazing. They did it again with it. Every kit they've ever made me has been, every detail has been solid, perfect. Yeah, dude, we've done the Acorn kit, obviously, but you've had maple, you've had acrylic. Yeah. Uh, you had the Acorn, which was <laughs> yeah. something on another planet, but. I've tried, tried a little bit of everything. <laughs> you tried a little bit of everything. What, from this kit, you know, brand new kit, what's your favorite thing so far about the mahogany shells? Is it the feel? Is it the tone? I, it's a little bit of both. I know it sounds like pretty cliche to say, but like, I don't know, I'm a very feel-oriented drummer. I get yeah. my side my head a lot. If something isn't, you know, if the rebound isn't right or if the head tension's a little loose, but with these, every single night, I don't know if it's the combination of the type of wood with the re-rings or the 45 degree angle, but whatever I did on this, I wanna base this on yeah, whatever yeah. kits I can do in the future, because cool. it's Got great. it. And what about the finish, dude? The amazing black and gold Duco yeah. paint finish. Like, what made I you mean, wanna go for that? I know you're a vintage dude, but yeah. like, what, what well, sparked the interest? I mean, I've been wanting to do a normal kit. I did a couple of the normal kits yeah, yeah. Uh, recently, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, something about the black with the goldish uh, burst just always looked really classy with me. I saw the guy from Royal Blood has one. I don't yeah. know what kind of kit it is, but I loved the way it looked. And, yeah. So it was a little bit of a rip off, but hey, they nah, look beautiful. Cool, yeah, <laughs> I actually beautiful. talked to him about it at Sonic Temple, and I was like, hey, just so you know, <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't mean to rip you off. <laughs> Dude, right, that, inspiration, man. That's yeah. what creativity and music's all about, dude. It, yeah. It's a classic vintage finish, dude. And yeah. on the mahogany shells, the way the oh, grain yeah. the pops beaver tail out lugs. is insane. Yeah. yeah, the wood badges. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. So you've been in the SJC family now for well over a decade. What's been your favorite thing about being in the SJC family? I mean, you guys, I met you, and I met you way before even that. It was at the Alston Church and where is that? Dude, yeah, the, uh, uh, the, the ICC. It was like 2008 yeah, or something. But yeah, you guys have always been, uh, aside from making great drums, like always been any any time of day or night, if I hate me, me or my tech hate you up, you're always there. Everything gets handled like that. And yeah, I don't have, I mean, it's a perfect experience I want to, from any brand I work for. That's with, awesome. So. Thank you, dude, so yeah. much. You've been at this for a long time, well before we even really knew each other. What's your yeah. favorite part about playing drums? Is it recording is it touring is it a mix of both like what keeps you going these days De definitely a little bit of both but um probably just being able to travel and the fact that a drum kit is able to bring me to australia south america yeah. europe all asia it's pretty wild i'm still just still just enjoying it so Hell yeah, dude. hopefully we can just keep going awesome what advice would you give an up-and-coming drummer that wants to do what you're doing now well that's hard 
Maybe choose a quieter instrument. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Just keep at it. Just find a find a group of people that you really mesh with because I feel like that's one of the hardest parts. And make sure you're all on the same page of uh, your same goals and everything. Yeah. yeah. Don't sucks if you waste a year or two with a group of people who don't take it as seriously as you. Yeah. Or, so I mean, I think that's a that's a huge one. I got pretty lucky with the group of guys I'm with, and yeah, we're all just really want it and we love it. So amazing, dude. Yeah. Right on, man. Well, I can't wait to see you crush this kit tonight. Yeah. Thank you so I'll much try. for everything, bro. And uh, yeah. thanks for letting us come on out to film. Yeah, I almost forgot. Rock locks. Yeah, rock locks, baby. Got to do it. On everything. On you everything. got rock locks on everything, dude. I have dude. to. Shout out Anthony. Anthony this Gazelle. Is, this is, uh, these are the truth. Lug locks, no. Rock locks, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that in there. Dude, of course, man. You got to shout Anthony. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah you, got, you got a lot of cool accessories. You got the, these snare weights and all the drums. A lot of all the toys. Yeah, all the toys, dude. That's what drummers like, all the little, yeah, little trinkets. Little you, got, you, got, you got grip tape on yeah, the Yeah, guitars pedals. have pedals and yeah, dude. like different kinds of strings, I guess. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I you got cup have, holders. Yeah, yeah, I got cup holders. This is a custom. Custom one gaff one, tape. Gaff tape. <laughs> And some, yeah, PVC. Hell yeah, dude. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> Here.